A few years ago, it was in January. It was so cold that our town was all frozen, and the streets were very quiet back then. I was living on the second floor of the apartment building at that time, and I could see a small park and a bench in the direction of my balcony. One night, it was around 9 p.m. My cell battery had just died, so I went near the balcony to pick up my charger, and I saw a child sitting on a bench about 30 meters away. It was snowing heavily outside at the time, so I thought it was a little weird for a child to sit on a bench alone in the middle of the night, especially on this cold day. However, I soon decided not to care about him, thinking that he's just waiting for his parents. Then I surfed the website for a while, and it was about 12 a.m. I went back to the balcony to lock the window, and that kid, he was still sitting on the bench. Looking at the back of his head, I began to worry that something might be wrong with him. So after thinking about it for a long time, I posted a post on the website I often go. Guys, there's a child out there in this time. Should I call the police? I then looked back at the bench. Maybe I can talk to him for a second. Thinking like this, I opened the window and shouted at the child. Hey! Hey, kid! He seemed not to hear my voice. He was just sitting there, not even looking at me. I shouted to him a few more times, then gave up. Went back to the living room, checking the comments, and there was one comment caught in my eyes. Hey, listen, that is not a human. Just shut the door and go to sleep. Do not talk to him. I got goosebumps. I slowly went out to the balcony again, and to my surprise, the child was gone. Was he a real ghost, or just gone somewhere? Thinking like this, I tried to shut the window that I had left open earlier, and looked down at the window inadvertently. And there was a child. He was standing in front of the first floor, still turning back. Holding my breath, I got so surprised that I quickly closed the window and locked it completely to the inner door. However, I ended up staying up all night that day. Eventually, nothing happened that day, but I still think it's the weirdest experience of my life. What if I didn't see his comment at that moment? Wouldn't that ghost have come into my house through the window? Of course, that kid may be a real person, but I still can't forget the back of his head.